I need to tell you that this one is going to be political. If you came here for a bit of respite from all of that sort of stuff, then you might not want to watch this one. And it's just something that we stumbled across and that we felt like lots of people might like to hear. When slavery ended in 1832, the Codringtons granted the land back to the people of Barbuda. For nearly 200 years, descendants have passed the land down to their families. The communal land system was formally enshrined in the law in the 2007 Barbuda Land Act. The local Barbudans who we've met want to keep their land and maintain their way of life. But barely five months after Hurricane Irma hit, which was designated a Category 5 plus plus because there was no real assignation for a storm of such violence. Ravaged the island, the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Gaston Brown, who until very recently had the best moustache in the land. So what do you think of Gaston Brown? What I think of him, what do you mean a dictator? He's a dictator. He is a dictator. Decided that he wanted to rush through a bill which would abolish the Communal Land Act and enable freehold title. <laughs> <laughs> now the feeling amongst the local Barbudans is that power and water services are being deliberately withheld so as to create an unlivable situation on the island. He was glad for Irma. He don't care nothing about Barbuda. Causing separation and divide amongst the locals and making selling the land an easier option. Gaston is saying that he wants to raise money for hurricane relief. The locals are saying, well, if you sell our land, then what's the point of it all? We don't own it anymore. Now, what has Robert De Niro got to do with this? Robert De Niro and the Nobu Hotel Group, they purchased the defunct K Club, which is now called Paradise Found. This was back in 2011. There was a vote which was agreed upon at the time. It's been contested ever since. That beach up there at K Club, now called Princess Diana Beach, um, was voted one of the top 10 beaches in the world is at least three million to ten million dollars an acre. So they're sitting on a possible fortune? You're sitting on a fortune if it becomes freehold. It enabled a foreign entity to be able to purchase land on the island. Your movie star, whoever he is, you know. Robert De Niro. There you go. He is the one who wanted land for 199 years. Yep. Lease. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. It was a plan, is a plan to take over Barbuda. Now, coincidentally, back in 2011, when the original contract was signed, it was put in there that if the land turned from lease, which it was, into freehold title, which it soon will be, then he would get the land. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that is one way to say it. Another way to say it would be that... Instead of leasing it, they would now actually own it. Another way would be... They predicted that the land would turn into freehold title in the future. And yet even another way... Now that is some serious crystal ball shit. So what can the local Barbudans and anyone watching this do? Nothing, as far as I know. There's no petition, uh, there's minimal protesting because it's such a small population, and there is just an overall general feeling of helplessness. Now I'd love to hear what people think about all this in the comments section below, especially if I've missed something or you know something that I don't. If you found it interesting or informative, please give it a like and share it with as many people as you can. I think that's important. 